Hello friend, if you are watching this video, then you are probably curious about switching from Windows to Linux, but may be wondering where do I even start. So today I am going to tell you about one step toward Linux that often does not get enough attention, but it can make all the difference. Then what is this magical step? So the best and easiest way is switching to free and open source software right here on Windows. Yes, that's right. Switching to Linux is not just about learning a new operating system. It is about becoming comfortable with a whole new way of working and with a new set of applications. And the best part is you can start working right now on your Windows machine by trying out some great free and open source programs. But before we continue, let me clarify that this video does not mean that I am against anyone who uses proprietary or commercial software. Nor am I saying that proprietary software is inferior to free and open source programs. It is all a matter of personal choice. Now the question arises: why am I promoting free and open source software on Windows? So the first reason is that many of these open source applications are the exact same ones that you would use on Linux. Therefore, you will already know your way around once you make the switch. Plus, it is far less intimidating to try these apps one at a time instead of driving into an entirely new ecosystem all at once. But the benefits does not stop there. Besides easing your transition to Linux, free and open source software offers big advantages. First, it is free, so you are saving money right away. But it is not just about cost. Free and open source gives you more control over your software. There are no ads, no data tracking, and you have the freedom to customize the program if you want. Using free and open source software is also a way to support a global community that believes software should be accessible to everyone. Do not underestimate these free and open source programs just because they are free. These tools are powerful, widely used and available across platforms. The skills you build using them on Windows will carry over to Linux, making the transition smoother and more enjoyable. Alright, now let's talk about some essential free and open source applications that you can download and start using right now. But to keep this video short, I am only going to quickly introduce you to some amazing free and open source alternatives for popular Windows applications. So let's go. First, let's look at some basic tools for day-to-day -to -day tasks. If you are not already using Firefox, give it a try. It is a great open source browser available for every platform. Plus, it will give you a sense of what browsing on Linux feels like. Firefox is a fast, secure and highly customizable web browser. It is one of the most widely used open source browsers with features like enhanced tracking protection and vast library of extensions. Firefox provide a secure browsing experience that respects your privacy. Brave is a privacy-focused browser that blocks ads and trackers by default, giving you a faster and more secure browsing experience. Built on Chromium, Brave offers the same performance as Chrome, but with enhanced privacy features. It is also available on all major platforms, so you can get used to it while using Windows. Apart from these two, you can also try Vivaldi which is also based on Chromium. Or you can try Zen Browser or Flor Browser which is based on Firefox. Joplin is an open source note taking and to do application designed to help you organize your ideas, notes and lists. It supports markdown, encryption and synchronization across all devices via services like Dropbox and Nextcloud. Joplin is a great free and open source alternative to apps like Evernote and Microsoft OneNote and it is perfect for users who want full control over their notes and privacy. Notepad++ is a highly versatile text and source code editor that offers powerful features like syntax highlighting, multi-document editing and search functionality. It is lightweight yet capable, making it ideal for everything from quick note taking to programming. Notepad++ is a favorite among developers and power users who need a flexible, high-performance text editor. 
Sumatra PDF is a lightweight open source PDF reader for Windows. Known for its simplicity and speed, it supports formats like PDF, EPUB, MOBI, and many more. Sumatra PDF is an excellent choice for users who want a straightforward, fast loading PDF reader without unnecessary features or bloat. Ocular is an open source document viewer developed by KDE, supporting a wide range of formats including PDF, EPUB, DJVU, and images. It offers advanced features like annotation, form filling, and text extraction. Ocular is a great choice for users who need a powerful and flexible document viewer. Now I don't think that I have to say anything about VLC Media Player. It is a prime example where open source beat its every proprietary or commercial counterpart. VLC is a powerful open source media player that can handle nearly any audio or video format. With built-in codecs and advanced playback options, VLC is highly versatile and work across platforms. It is perfect for anyone looking for a reliable media player with extensive customization and streaming capabilities. MPV is a minimalist and powerful media player, known for its high performance and ability to handle a wide variety of media formats with ease. It has a simple interface, but supports extensive customization and powerful features through scripting, making it a favorite among advanced users. LibreOffice is a comprehensive, free and open source office suite that includes tools similar to Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It offers excellent compatibility with Microsoft Office formats and includes six main applications like Writer, Calc, Impress, Draw, Base, and Math. LibreOffice is a great choice for users who want a robust, fully featured office suite that works seamlessly on both Windows and Linux. Only Office is a versatile office suite designed for productivity and collaboration. Compatible with Microsoft Office format, it includes tools for word processing, spreadsheets, and presentation. It is a great choice for users who want to switch to free and open source software but still need compatibility with MS Office files. GIMP is a powerful open source graphic editor for tasks like photo retouching, design, and image composition. Known as the top free alternative to Photoshop, GIMP offers advanced tools, layers, and customizable brushes for professional quality work. It is cross-platform and completely free, making it a great choice for designers and photographers wanting high-quality editing on any operating system. Inkscape is a powerful open source vector graphics editor, perfect for tasks like logo design, illustration, and creating scalable artwork. It offers advanced features such as node editing, path operations, and support for various file formats like SVG. Inkscape is a great free and open source alternative to Adobe Illustrator, providing professional grade tools for designers and artists on both Windows and Linux. Krita is a professional-grade digital painting and illustration program loved by artists. It is specially popular for creating concept art, illustration, and comics. With a robust toolset and user-friendly interface, Krita is a powerful alternative to CorelDRAW or Painter, which runs smoothly on Linux as well as Windows. Scribus is a desktop publishing application that is ideal for designing brochures, posters, and magazines. It offers similar features like Adobe InDesign and is frequently used for professional quality layouts. Scribus supports various publishing standards, making it a go-to tool for anyone interested in printing designs. Kadin Live is a comprehensive video editing program with powerful tools for cutting, arranging, and editing video clips. It supports a wide range of video formats and offers advanced features like keyframe animation, effects, and transitions, making it a fantastic alternative to proprietary video editors. Shortcut is an intuitive video editing software with support for a broad range of format and resolution. 
It is packed with features like timeline editing, filters, and effects. Yet remains user-friendly enough for beginners. Shortcut is a great choice for those who are new to video editing, who want a simple but powerful free and open source option. Blender is another perfect example of how free and open source can sometimes surpass proprietary alternatives. If Blender was a commercial software, its creators would likely be millionaires by now. Blender is an all-in-one 3D creation suit used extensively in industries like game design and film production for tasks like 3D modeling, animation, sculpting, and even video editing. Its extensive toolset and professional quality output make it a favorite across creative fields. Handbrake is a powerful open source video converter that let you rip and compress video into different formats. With a wide variety of presets and customization options, it is a popular tool for reducing video file sizes, converting formats, and optimizing video for different devices. Audacity is a popular audio editor and recording tool that is simple yet powerful. It allows you to record, edit, and mix audio files, offering features like noise reduction, EQ, and effects. Audacity is commonly used for tasks like podcast production, music editing, and general audio cleanup. LMMS is a digital audio workstation designed for music production. It includes a wide array of tools including MIDI support, synthesizers, and a piano rollout editor. LMMS is excellent for creating electronic music and is compatible with many popular VST plugins, making it a fantastic alternative to FL Studio or Avid Pro tools. All right, now let's talk about something that might sound intimidating for most Windows users, but it can be really helpful in the long run, which are package managers. Package managers are very common in Linux, but there are similar tools that you can use on Windows as well. And the best examples are Winget is Microsoft's official package manager for Windows, offering a convenient way to install, update, and remove software through the command line. With a growing repository of apps, Winget provides a streamlined solution for Windows users looking to automate software management tasks. Chocolaty is a popular package manager for Windows that simplifies software installation and management from the command line. It offers thousands of packages, making it easy to install, update, and uninstall apps with a single command. Ideal for developers and power users, Chocolaty streamlines the process of keeping your software up to date. Scoop is a command line package manager for Windows, designed to install and manage programs without requiring admin permissions. It is particularly useful for installing developer tools and open source softwares, keeping everything organized and easily accessible. Scoop's minimalist approach makes it ideal for users who want lightweight package management. Using package managers might sound intimidating at first, but they can make software installation a lot faster once you get hang of it. And getting familiar with command line tools is a great step towards feeling at home on Linux. These programs cover a lot of what most people use daily, and they are just the tip of the iceberg in the free and open source ecosystem. Getting into the open source mindset is the key part of the Linux experience. So starting with free and open source software on Windows is like taking a practice run in a familiar environment. Plus, by getting to know them now, you are essentially previewing a big part of Linux experience. So there you have it. Before you even install Linux, you can start making the switch by exploring free and open source software on Windows. Give it a try and let me know in the comments which app you have started using or did you find any program that surprised you. And if you are ready to take the next step, then stay tuned cause I have more videos on that coming up. But remember the transition does not have to be all at once. Take it step by step and enjoy the journey. Thanks for watching and if you have liked this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any new videos. See you next time, until then keep exploring the world of Linux.